Hi, in this video, we're going to discuss about Kajaria Ceramics. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please feel free to subscribe it so that you are on top of the latest videos that I'll be posting. So Kajaria Ceramics, again, uh, it's a, uh, they are into ceramic walls and uh, tile manufacturing. So presumably, again, uh, they are actually a 15,000 crore uh, worth company as of today. So let's understand uh, what Kajaria does. I'm just going to their website and uh, let's understand pretty much to get an idea in terms of what they do. So by and large, if you see the product categories, so they are actually making different vitrified tiles, stair tiles, wall tiles and floor tiles and also they have given the design as well in terms of uh, you can uh, find your own tile mainly for your house office or for other uh, institutional location and also you have the option to find a dealer inside so now one thing about this company is that they are the market leader uh, in terms of uh, wall tiles as well as uh, other forms of tiles as well and uh, sarah sanitary Ware is one of their competitors but they are com relatively smaller compared to how big kajaria is Curiously, I wanted to study their financials over the last 10 years. So the, the company has almost doubled over the last 10 years. So they made uh, 1,300 crores of revenue in their March 2012. And that became almost uh, 2,800 crores. If you see, their margins have always remained stable between 16 to 18%. And uh, their net profit margin also has remained stable between 6% uh, to 11%. And it has increased over the last three years due to reduction in the interest payment right so they were making close to 50 crores but now they are paying only 10 crores as interest outflow because the debt had reduced substantially and also their uh, self-sustaining growth rate also seems to be around seven percent but their revenue growth has been uh, almost less than five percent right so when the sales is less than uh, the self-sustainable growth rate the company will not have to rely on external debt. Rather, they could uh, service their growth and grow only by means of their internal cash flows, which is good. Like almost their cash flows uh, are relatively healthy and uh, they are able to convert all their net profits into cash flow, which is a positive sign for this company and they have paid out dividends every single year. Right, and their ROE, which is the return on equity, is almost uh, around 15%, which is good, like which is above the cost of capital, which is good. And also, again, the net fixed asset turnover, where how efficiently the company is using its uh, fixed assets, that also seems to be good. So one thing I noticed about uh, receivables in this industry space is that almost all companies they have a receivable cycle of uh, greater than 30 days that is because since they are into tile manufacturing and uh, also other ceramic products the credit line extended by these companies is typically like two months to even four months some even unorganized players they give a credit line of even greater than four months right so which needed to be kept in consideration and also again their market cap has almost become 12 lakhs from 1250 to 16 and 16000 crores uh, that is because now they are able to grow their market share substantially in the last 10 years because now there were recent regulation in gst where unorganized market is getting converted to organized market where kajaria gained a lot of market share by scaling this whole front and also their uh, total equity has also almost uh, become 10x so when the return on equity has grown extensively the market is rewarding so where uh, there is expansion in earnings and also there is a p multiple expansion so once p p and the e component expands there is an increase in uh, value unlocking in the market cap which is true for this cap and also the debt has almost come down from uh, 1 to 0 0.1 which is another thing that has to be noted right so i think this is an interesting company to, uh, and to be kept in uh, the radar but i think currently it's overvalued where historically the stock used to trade at around 30 p but currently it's trading around 51 p and uh, there is muted growth because the real estate sector is under uh, big pressure but what i think is this company might be a huge beneficiary in the real estate growth part where india has a long way to go in terms of uh, using these modern tiles for uh, infrastructure development in different houses and offices and other places where this company could benefit big. but from a price to sale multiple point it's again highly overvalued where it's trading at around 5x five, five of what 
it was trading uh, three four years back where in the last one year bull market most stocks have gone up relatively higher so i would wait and watch this stock in my watch list and i don't have any holdings in the stock uh, but again uh, keeping the infrastructure and real estate story ahead uh, these companies can uh, stay a chance to benefit big in the next 10 20 years of india's growth story in terms of uh, ceramic sanitary ware and real estate so i think uh, you i you found this video useful and uh, please feel free to include your thoughts about what you think about this company uh, in the comments so that uh, we'll discuss about the detail in the subsequent videos thank you so much